Hi and welcome to The Great Adventure. If you're new here, check out some of my other content, like and subscribe. If you're a new subscriber already, thanks for your support, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of the plants that I've started to grow in my apartment through propagation. A lot of these plants I've gotten from going around in public on the street and clipping a little bit off of them if I see something I like or plants that friends have offered to share with me. One of the reasons I've been growing plants lately is because your girl is just trying to live in a room that's a jungle. <laughs> so I've tried to turn my brown thumb green and see what I can grow. If you enjoy this video, like I said before, comment, like, and subscribe, and let's get into it. So this first one is an English ivy that I put in water to develop a root system, and these next two are avocado pits that I'm trying to sprout. Here I have a common purslane that I got. I clipped um, a little bit of a vine off of a plant in a condominium building, and someone's really mad about that. I'm not gonna say who. Um, but anyways, I propagated these for a few weeks, and then finally planted them. So these five leaves here are the original leaves that I had on the vine. This one's new, and as you can see, there's some new sprouts coming up over there as well. So I'm really excited about that. It's gonna be big and beautiful, and can't wait to see her in full bloom. So this is my plum pit that I've been trying to soak so that I can crack open the pit and get the seed out to sprout it. Once so again, I am Queen Clipper. I have three jasmine plants, all from the same vine. So I clipped one vine and then I cut the vine into smaller parts um, to propagate it. This one, the leaves are growing here. Um, and I think these leaves were already here, but you can see there's new leaves growing here. It's not really growing a root system yet, um, but I'll show you the other two that had more leaves on them. So these are the other two that are growing and they already have their root system pretty strongly forming. And these are a couple of palm tree seeds that I found on the ground um, next to some palm trees and I'm trying to, well these ones I need to clean off the pulp and then soak them and sprout them. In here I have um, some palm tree seeds. These are both I think fan palms as well as these ones. In this jar, I have some date palm seeds that I found once again just near the tree. And so I picked them up and then I'm just soaking them and then I'll try to sprout them. Um, I've heard they can take anywhere from a few months to a year to sprout, so patience is a virtue. This is a Swedish ivy that a friend so kindly let me clip from her plant. Um, and I propagated it in water for maybe a week or a little over a week um, and the root system started to grow strong. I did take off some of the leaves just because they say when you are propagating something it's better to have less leaves. I didn't take off so many though because I wanted it still to be something when I put it in the pot. Um, but she looks like she's thriving. I might give her a little bit of a water soon. But anyway, um, yeah, I just planted her recently and she looks okay, so I hope it spreads and gets big. This one I think is another form of jasmine that um, doesn't look like it's dying, but doesn't have any roots yet. I think I can kind of see, let's see if this will focus. I think I can kind of see where the no roots are gonna form because it looks like there are some nodes that might form roots yeah, just right here. Um, but I don't know, nothing's been growing. But it also hasn't been dying, so I'll just keep trying and see if anything sprouts. Um, yeah. This is a spider plant that I got once again off of an already mature plant um, in my courtyard, and she had babies on her. Like, um, I don't know if any of you know about spider plants, but they 
grow this stem that just kind of extends out from the original plant and then the babies grow off of that stem. So I've been putting her in water to kind of propagate a root system. Um, I should plant her soon. Maybe I will plant her today. I'm gonna take her with me and put her in a little pot. So I'll show you guys what she looks like once um, I'm done. But I've just had her soaking in water for like less than a week, maybe six days. And um, the roots when I started were not really apparent. They weren't really visible. Um, but now you can see that they're starting to grow really long. There were those nodes there, but now they're extending out. So these ones I've heard are really good for brown thumbs and first time gardeners. Um, and they propagate super quickly. They form root systems super quickly. So that's nice because then you get to see um, a lot of growth in a lot of time. This is my common purslane that I started to grow during quarantine. I had planted a bunch of seeds in this pot and this was the one that sprouted and stayed sprouted. And so um, I just have put a stick here to help it kind of grow and spread. Next, I have this Eastern Marsh Fern that um, I found in a forest when we were going for a rock and there were a ton everywhere. It's kind of dried up, though it didn't really make a good transition from the forest to like all the transport of it not being in soil to here. Um, it looks like it's dead, but I don't know if I cut, if I cut all this plant um, that something new will grow back, so I'll just keep it for now. It's pretty anyway, even though it's kind of sad and scraggly looking. Um, but I just like it, it looks really pretty, so maybe I'll try and see if there's a way to save or revive it. And last but not least, we have my aloe plant. This one I took from uh, my boyfriend's bigger plant that had several babies. And so what I brought was just this big thing, and you can already see she started to have a couple of babies. There's one here, super close, and there's this little guy sprouting out so um, she's also thriving and looking strong and healthy okay so it's two days later and i'm finally getting around to planting this spider plant right here um so i'm gonna bring you guys along as i put her in the pot and then um, show you the final product like i said i would